In Syria, the U.S.-led coalition has stepped up the bombing of Raqqa, hoping to drive ISIS fighters from their remaining hideouts. Hundreds of civilians managed to escape today. Holly Williams got a rare look inside what was once considered the ISIS capital. This is the shattered heart of Raqqa, laid waste by three years of ISIS rule and a siege that's lasted four months. On the front line, these US-backed Syrian militiamen decided to put on a show for our camera. ISIS gunmen are hiding in the ruins of a nearby apartment building, they said, but it looked more like boredom than real fighting. Progress here is grindingly slow. They know exactly where ISIS is in a tiny sector of the city, but they can't flush them out. Around 250 fighters are thought to be dug in, some of them in this stadium, others around Naim Square, which ISIS once decorated with severed heads. But amongst the fighters are civilians being used as human shields. They have women and children with them, Commander Zaim Ahmadi told us. He used to be an electrician in Raqqa and claims to have killed dozens of ISIS extremists. He took us to see a long dead corpse. The only signs of life in most neighbourhoods, apart from the fighters, are stray cats. They're trying to stay alive, like everyone else in this beleaguered city. US-backed forces continue to say that they are just days away from victory in Raqqa, but they've already opened up a new front further to the south, where ISIS is being squeezed into a shrinking area in the desert. So the fighting will continue, Anthony. Holly Williams in northern Syria.